The return of Sunita Williams has been delayed now for several months. Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore, remember, have been stuck in space already for over 80 days now. And they are now expected to return possibly next year to Earth. NASA has made the announcement that Elon Musk's SpaceX will bring back the two astronauts in February 2025. After Boeing Starliner experienced serious technical glitches, making it unsafe for Sunita and Butch to return, NASA has decided to bring back the spacecraft uh, uncrewed, leaving Sunita and Butch in the International Space Station. But NASA says they have a plan B, that Sunita Williams and her co-astronaut will make their way back home with SpaceX Crew 9 mission. So there's going to be a fresh mission now. The mission slated for four astronauts will take only two to space, so the capsule has space for Sunita and Butch to return. But basically, remember, this was supposed to be an eight-day long space mission and has now turned 80 days for now, eight months to total. So let's listen in now to how as NASA's mission star liner bring it, to bring Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmo gets delayed, India today spoke exclusively to Russian cosmonaut Sergei Korsko. He spoke about the time when he was stuck in space for nearly six months. What is the impact that your body takes? How do you stay mentally stable? All of that and more in this conversation. We are people who stare at the night sky to see at the stars. You've been to the International Space Station, spent six months over there, mm -hmm. close to the stars. How was that experience? Yes, I've been close to the stars, but not as close as I want. Just four, Much closer. Four, 400 kilometers closer. But uh, the other side of this journey is that I can see the Earth, our planet, uh, from the space, with, from new perspective, that show us that our planet is our own planet without boundaries, uh, borders, so we have to keep it, keep it peaceful, safe, and such a uh, nice place to live. Only place where we can live. <laughs> And so, uh, Indian space development, Russia has been a partner and a friend and a guide for a long time. So, the developments in Indian space, mm -hmm. uh, how do you see that in the last 10 years? Mm -hmm. uh, I watch India's progress in space exploration with large interest and I'm very glad that India goes very fast and uh, I could only wish uh, new successes and more more interesting missions and new goals to achieve. Uh, let me also ask you this question. Sunita Williams, the astronaut, mm -hmm. uh, she's in space. There was an issue with Starliner mm -hmm. and uh, many debates are coming up claiming that it might be a crisis or it could be something that needs to be worried. Is that so or is she all right? Um, they are all right. Astronauts are all right and all the crew is uh, all right and I believe that any issue will be solved. So uh, I believe in the success of their mission. So in, ca in case the Starliner does not work, Soyuz or Dragon uh, crew, uh, crew thing can be used to bring her back? I guess space agencies uh, think about every possibility to use Dragon or Soyuz. So they will make their best decision they could.